everyone. Um, back down on Chesil Beach today, Saturday, the 21st of August, um, and we've come back down to the, the beach again for another fishing adventure. Um, conditions are totally different to the last time when we came, when we had that storm. Um, it's still we've still got a bit of a swell on the sea, and the wind was supposedly supposed to be coming in from the southwest, but at the minute it's sort of coming over the top of us if you like and it's sort of flattened the sea out a little bit I'll show you that in just a sec um, again we are targeting all the summer species hopefully we're going to get some I'm hoping there'll be a bass around some bream around as well um, and I expect the usual suspects like the congas and the the, the other uh, stuff the dogfish I'm sure they'll be around as well but I'm not sure at the minute with, with the state of the sea and the way it is we, we'll have to see um, once again, I've got a great selection of baits. Um, I'll just show you. We've got some. Uh, so we've got some. Um, I've got some paler crab, some squid, some frozen blacks. And I was in the northeast last week, and I went to an old fishing shop of mine, uh, Andy Rutherford's. And look at that for razor clams. They are unbelievable. I was really pleased with them so I bought some of them from him um, and yeah like I said we're just going to target target the summer species now I have heard as well that there's been some codling being caught down at the ferry bridge end which is that way so I would love one of them I would love, if we could get one of them today I would love it I'm just going to show you the conditions it's totally different to last time we went but let me just pan that round and show you look as you can see there's a little bit of a roll on there a little bit of a swell um, I was hoping it would be a lot more churned up than it is but there you go um, we've been watching the weather like I say as you can see it's it's quite it's quite dark over towards Portland and the rain keeps coming in and out um, it's supposed to brighten up later but the wind's supposed to be coming from from the sort of south southwest but it's not at the minute like I say it's coming over the top of us um, so we've got Craig with us today from the fishing chippies uh, he's managed to get out he hasn't been out for a while so I'm pleased he's come down today and like I said, just looking at the right hand rod there I think I've got a bite on I literally I thought it was on a bit earlier and just gonna have a little look at that in just a second um, Oh, and it looks like I've got a bite on the left hand rod. Yeah, that's definitely a pull down. I might have two fish on at once here. Um, let's have a little look at that. Definitely a pull down on that. Yeah, it feels like something's on it. I don't think it's very big, but. Let's have a little look. Probably a dogfish. Uh, maybe a small conger. Not sure, but it's Good little pull down, it's definitely a fish though. Ah, oh. yeah, no, is it gone? Ah, oh, it's a tiny, tiny little swim down again. Look, <laughs> I'm feeling <pale. laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what. For little fish, so he's done half give a give a good tap away. <laughs> oh, look at that look. Oh come here then. Come here, come here. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. What a massive four oar hook as well. Unbelievable, would you? Come on now. There you go. Look at that. Don't know if you can see that hello. We'll stick him back in. <laughs> Oh dear. 
tiny, tiny little smooth and look. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. All right, guys. Um, yeah, just wanted to show you something. Um, something that I do with black lug. Um, I haven't managed to get any live blacks, and but I have managed to get some frozen now. You know, a lot of people will already know about this and, and, and do it anyway, but this is what I tend to do, or how I tend to bit up with a frozen. As you can see, you can't really do a lot with that or, or try and thread it on a hook. It's all um, loose and slack. So I use one of these, a bait loader. I make them myself, stainless steel rods. You can buy them, I know you can. Um, so what I do is I just, I thread the, uh, the black lug like so along the bait loader like this so I've got it on there like that bring it down like so to where that to where that point is and just wrap it around a bit then what I do is I get my my hook and I lay it on the, the end of the bait loader like this so I've got that going on. Then what I use is a bit of bait elastic. You can see I'm keeping a tension on the line here, just holding it nice and tight so it keeps the hook tight. And then what I do with a bit of elastic, get hold of it, is I just whip that on the hook like so and 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 up the line so that you you're making a bit a bit more compact and also so that it stays on and it doesn't slip down and slide off the, the see how the hook sticking right out like that i just wrap that on like so i mean a lot of people out there will probably think oh no it's not for me but you know what it works for me and it's a good way of keeping your black lug on the hook like that so just what I do is I just take that off look see the hook still sticking out pull that out and there you go hooks hooks nice and proud and it's a good way of bait, baiting up with with frozen black lug and, and keeping it nice and compact and, and a good presentation as well I think with the hook sticking out anyway I just thought I'd share that with you a little tip like I say it's not for everyone but it works for me all right. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but just out there, that dark patch there, it looks like it's bait fish bubbling away. So I've just brought a little, a little, a small rod down with a with a little uh, lure on the end. Look, and I'm just going to cast into that because if it is bait fish, there could be something else chasing it. So I'm just going to keep the camera on for a bit. I'm going to chuck this out a few times into that shawl and see what happens. It's bubbling away. It's definitely bait fish. It's definitely, yeah, can you see, I don't know, can you see that? They're jumping and everything. So I'm just going to chuck into that a bit. I might have dispersed them a little bit there when I chuck that in, but mackerel. Now, is it? Let's have a little look. Ah, oh, whatever it was, it come off. I had something on there. You know what? Look at the size of this little fella. Look, hey. 
all we've been <laughs> fishing literally all morning and I've had two bites and they've both been very very tiny very small tiny little smooth hands look but ev everything counts so I'm gonna get him back and I'll check him with you in a minute all right guys Right guys, gonna close this video out now. Um, yeah, we've had a, we've had everything today. Rain, sun, the lot, and no fish. <laughs> uh, but you know what, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. You, uh, like I've always said, it's not all about that every time. It's about getting out and, and doing your fishing. But we've had a, a mammoth day. We've fished it all day, and we have caught two smooth hounds between us. So. It just goes to show you we can't always catch the fish we try but it's not always possible but I am gonna put this one on YouTube anyway because just for people to see that you know what we don't always get them um, we'd like to but we don't at least it didn't blank Paul Craig did um, anyway I just wanted to uh, once again thanks everyone honestly great comments coming in keep them coming um, and thanks for all the new subscribers as well much appreciated from this this guy here um, like I say I can't always get out so sort of every two weeks I get out if I can um, so the next one will be then but uh, yeah we still had a great day you know what I mean where else would you want to be um, but with that in mind I just want to say thanks again everybody and uh, thanks for tuning in and hopefully you can join us on our next adventure and we might catch some more fish next time. Alright guys, thanks for watching.